Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about all about Laravel Cedar, right? So what is Cedar? Actually, it is directly related to database, right? Few days back, we discussed about the migration. So migration is used to create or alter any table, right? It is related to structure of the database. Now, in Cedar, we used to add some dummy data into the database, right? Automatically, or you can, uh, insert any records or you can insert any data through the cedar the process of adding data into the database is called shading okay so so why we use this cedar right so as a developer you created any application and uh, there is some few records we inserted and we tested that things but we don't know about when we get millions of data or when you get multiple data with the proper relations then what will be means we cannot check our uh, program is optimized or not right so we can insert dummy data with the seeding so that developer can test it also tester can test it right so this is my database there is laravel 9 database and this is the student's table i want to insert one data into this student table so how you can do this right so before that i want to know where actually cedar is present so when you actually install your laravel application this directory is uh, getting right so all the cedar is related to database so inside the database there is a folder that is cedars folder right so all the cedars actually uh, stored into this cedar you can create your own customized cedar and by default laravel provide database cedar so actually this is the class database cedar class so it's a uh, laravel giving by default right so by default you will get the run method automatically actually when you run your uh, cedar that time this run method will call okay and and inside the run method whatever we write it will execute right so first of all we need to learn how to create our custom cedars right so i will discuss about how to run this default cedar also and first we will know how to create custom cedar so as we have a table that is students so i am creating a cedar with a student's table name right so let's create another tab and simply let's create a cedar so simply write php artisan make and uh, the cedar okay and what is the uh, cedar name suppose student table data okay so this is my cedar name so if you just enter this it will create a cedar created successfully and if you check into your directory you will get student table data is added right so this is actually the cedar file it's actually extending the cedar okay and also you will get the run method here also okay so you can write your comment or you can write your query into here so you can write a normal allocant query also you can write your db query also so all will run from here okay no problem on that so inside the student table data i just create a insert query or suppose i am using normal db query there's a reason i am using db here and here sorry the spelling mistake db and here actually we will insert some data into the students table so just copy the students table name and simply use this so how you can write this simply use the db i already added into the uh, here and simply write db the table name so what is my table name my table name is students and i will insert some data so simply write insert and take insert array so that inside the array we can write our columns name and data okay so name email phone age status there is lots of things okay just write step by step so first of all i am adding the name is suppose sunny okay and uh, the email is suppose email and write here sunny at the rate email dot com and uh, simply as for phone and age status okay so let's use phone okay so just add some any random number so simply write this okay so this is not actually the number okay so let's remove this and let's add age suppose age is 20 so simply write 20 and status okay so simply status is one okay so all are done this is the insert query now how to run this okay 
so before running this we need to regenerate our cedar through the auto load so simply just write here composer dump auto load okay so basically it will regenerating the files auto load sorry spelling mistake auto load okay so it is generating the optimized files okay so it's regenerated package manifest generated successfully now you can run your database seeder so simply just copy this to table seeder and here run php artisan db seed and then the class name so simply write class and just paste this class name student table seeder so it will you it will see database seeding completed successfully so if you check into our database there is already six records now if i just browse again you can see there is seven records and actually these record are inserted okay now in this way if i have student table seeder teacher table seeder and multiple type of seeder so how we can run in a single command so using the database seeder we can run multiple seeder at a time so we need to register all the seeder into the database seeder and we can run from here also okay so simply just go to the database seeder this is my default seeder and inside here just simply run this and we need to use the call function so using call we can call our seeder and as you have multiple seeders so you can take array so here simply write the student table seeder there is the student table data actually this is the class name so just use this and colon colon class and actually it will run this seeder again via the default seeder the database seeder so if you have multiple seeder you can add using comma separated value okay no problem on that and let's change some data suppose instead of sunny i am right here rock okay and simply write rock okay and let's uh, change some number that is a random number and instead of 20 i am using 40 and status is 1 so now i will not run table data directly i will run the default seeder and it will call us to table data right now we have a seven records so if you check and if i just run the default seeder very simple we don't need to write the class name simply use php artisan db and seed okay so it will actually call the seeder so actually one seeder is registered that's the reason it's seeding the student table data and if you check inside your application inside your database you will get eight records and this record are added simple now if you don't want to create any seeder you need uh, some fuse data and want to create different different seeders simply if you just uh, copy these things and paste it here this will execute actually when you run the php artisan db seed that time run method is working so if you run anything it will run no problem on it so let's try this in your system so if you get any confusion or if you get any problems please comment in the below comment section so next day we are going to discuss about another section or another concept of cedar with the faker right so we'll discuss about actually faker and using the faker we can insert multiple data at a time means here we are just uh, writing one data and we are executing cedar and we are getting data into the database using faker we can insert multiple data at a time right so that it will be very easy and with a few seconds we can insert millions of data into your database right so that we can test it and we can check our optimization of our application so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye